Hi all, welcome to Life of Try. So we haven't done a video for a little while, so I thought we'd start off New Year, new video about getting into triathlon for the first time. So this video is going to be aimed at people who probably aren't that familiar with swim, bike and run. Maybe you come from one of the disciplines, but chances are that the sport is totally new to you, and that's okay. This is where um, the channel will come into its own. This is where we will try and help you get into the sport. So before we go into the video further, I want to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe and like our videos just so they get further up in the rankings. Anyway, jumping straight in. These are five things that you need to know before you take up triathlon. The first one being, you don't have to sign up for a huge race. So very similar to running events that you'll have different lengths and different terrains, triathlon is no different. And people will often talk about events like Ironman, which is a ridiculous um, event to do for your first time. The fact that it's such a massive event, it's over potentially up to 17 hours. You know, you don't have to do that. There's anything from a sprint or a super sprint before that, Olympic distance, uh, middle distance, then all the way up to Ironman. So you can choose what you decide to do. We would highly recommend that you don't do um, a really large event for your first run. You know, dip your toe in the water, find out if you like it or not. So do something like a sprint or a super sprint. There are a number of events out there that are run by governing bodies. Um, I believe British Triathlon do a series called Try a Try. So, you know, try that out. And it'll give you an opportunity to find out if you like um, the sport, yes or no. And if you don't, fine. You've tried it, move on to something else um, that will take a pique your interest. But if you do love it, brilliant. Stay in the sport because it's a, an amazing community and you get so much out of it. The other thing to consider then is if it's your first event, maybe you don't want to do a full swim, bike, run event. You, there are variations of it, multi-sport events. and you, So you could do a duathlon, which is a run, bike, run. You could do a swim, bike, which is literally a swim, a bike. An ath aquathon, which is a swim, run. So there's a number of different events out there. And you may have one particular discipline that's your weakest. And you would rather try the other two first. So there's a number of options out there. So just check out British Triathlon and some of the other um, events websites that are out there. They'll tell you what you need to know. The second point is that you don't need to buy fancy equipment to do this sport. Yes, triathlon can be expensive, but you don't need to buy every piece of equipment out there. You don't need to buy top of the range. So you will need a basic set of equipment and that is your swimming clothes, your cycling clothes, your cycling safety things, the sort of like your helmet, your bike, and then your running gear. And that's probably the basic elements of what you need. So the other thing to consider is whether you buy all that outright, maybe you've got some of it already, or whether you maybe borrow some equipment from friends, you know, the first example being a bike, or whether you hire or buy second hand. There are a number of options again, so you don't need to just rush out and buy everything which is going to potentially cost you thousands of pounds. It can be done on a budget and it can be done on a shoestring. The third point is around the swim and often the swim does daunt a lot of people if you don't come from a swimming background and more importantly swimming in open water. Majority of people will learn to swim in a pool scenario and it's a very controlled environment. But throw into the mix that some events are in rivers, lakes, or um, all of the sea. That scares a lot of people. So the first tip around that is, is you don't need to do an open water swim. There are events out there that are pool based. And that will allow you to sort of, again, build up your confidence in um, doing triathlon before you maybe step out into the open water. The fourth point, and linked to number three as well, is to mimic what you do in the race beforehand, so you get used to it. So, perfect example being to mimic the conditions that you go into racing for your training. So, if you are um, going to do an open water swim, try and get some of your training in an open water environment. It's, if you can, 
um, not hard to do everything in the pool simply because when you come to the race scenario it's going to be alien to you and you it's going to be a different environment and you may stress out this will give you an opportunity to put on your wetsuit try it beforehand get um, get a feel for the different conditions get a feel for potentially walking on the bottom of a lake or a river which is totally different to a pool setting all of that allows you again just to mimic what you're going to do on the day the next point within mimicking is to mimic or to practice a changing in and out of your clothes so um, within triathlon we start with the swim we go into T1, the transition one, and we come out of our swimming gear into our cycling gear. So get used to the order that you take your swimming gear off and the order that you put your cycling gear on. And then in the next one, you've got T2, which is tri um, transition two. So you come out of your cycling gear and into your running gear. And again, you need to practice that. And that can be done in the house. It can be done in the garden. You don't need to be in a fancy setting to do that. You just need to practice that order. So when you come to the race scenario, you know what you're going to do. And you don't stand there like a lemon thinking, oh, what, what do I need to do? What do I need to take off first? It, again it just practice and practice makes perfect you just run through it so again on the day it's not something you haven't considered you, you know, you've gone through the logical steps and then the final and fifth point is to think about how you're going to combine some of your training so within swim bike and run you have swim bike and run sessions to um, get you fit enough for the race scenario and a lot of that can take time and take up a lot of your precious time where you've got work you've got family commitments you may have other commitments so you it's a balance between training and the rest of what's going on in your life by combining some of your sessions so you may do a bike session and then go for a run straight after it it, uh, it just allows you to maximize your time throughout the week and also going back to point four it mimics what you do within the race so if you are deciding to do a brick session which is what this is known where you cycle and then run um, it will get your legs ready for going into a run so it will get your body used to okay i'm cycling at the moment i stop and then go into a run so again in race scenario it's not totally alien to you, you you're getting used to those conditions there you go guys, just five quick tips that will get you ready if you're coming into triathlon for the first time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please hit the like button and follow us on social media. Cheers all!